Hey everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Today, I'm going to give you five tips on processing a portrait. For best results with your portraits, I recommend that you do these five tips in the order that I present them. We're going to jump right into it with tip number one. The first thing you should do is remove any blemishes. We're going to use the spot removal tool for that. You're going to want to use the heel brush, so make sure you're using the heel brush. And I found feathering around 75 usually works pretty well, and we're going to want opacity at 100. Then just Wherever there is a blemish on your subject, just paint over that blemish. Uh, Lightroom will sample another area. If you don't like the area it's sampled, you could just move it to wherever you want it, and you could remove blemishes that way. Now, typically, I won't remove freckles or moles or anything like that, what I'm doing right now, but I'm doing it just for demonstration in this video. Uh, usually, I would only use this to remove blemishes uh, that are temporary. So do that first. Once that is done, the next thing that I recommend you do is soften skin. And there's a really specific way that I go about doing it. First of all, I want to zoom out a little bit. If you're using a newer version of Lightroom, you could hit Command or Control minus on your keyboard a couple times to zoom out. You also could go over to the left panel at the top of the navigator. You could see that there's a drop down and you could zoom out. Uh, to something like this. Then what, I'm do, what I'll do is I get a brush and there's a little drop down right here. A lot of newer Lightroom users aren't familiar with this drop down. There are some brush presets here that come with Lightroom. And if you go down towards the bottom, you can see that there's, there's two softened skin presets. One is called softened skin and the other one is softened skin light. I always use softened skin light because I think the other one, softened skin, is a little bit too heavy. But for this demonstration, I'm going to use that one because it, I think you could better see what is happening. So you take that preset and it will automatically put the sliders where they need to be. Next, make sure, and this is most important, you click on auto mask. So you want to make sure auto mask is clicked. You're going to want to have feathering all the way to zero and flow all the way to 100 and density all the way to 100. Then what you want to do is get a brush that is humongous, that is covers the entire face of your model and then put the little plus that's in the middle over somewhere on their face, in this case right on the bridge of her nose, and I'm just going to click once and it softens the skin. Now if I hover over the pin, you'll see that it mainly selected her skin. It didn't select her eyes. That's because that's what that auto mask does. It looks at the tone, texture, and color of where I clicked, and it will only apply the brush to similar tone, texture, and color. Now it's not perfect. So what you'll want to do next is go to the range mask, click on the little drop down, and click on color. Then get the eyedropper, and then take the eyedropper and also click on the skin of your model, uh, just like that. And now we'll hover over that pin in the middle and you can see that it pretty much just has her face. Now, if it did get anywhere that you don't want, what you could do as a final step is go down here where the brush is. We're using the A brush at the moment. Just click on the erase brush and then take an erase brush and erase it from where you don't want it. In this case, I think it did a pretty good job and only affected her skin. So that is what I do to soften skin. So I consider this one done as far as that is concerned. So to zoom back out and fit to screen, just hit the space bar on your computer. Whoops, first close the brush tool down, then hit the space bar on your computer. Let's do a before after at this point. There's before and there's after. You can see we only did two things and it did quite a bit. Now, again, as far as that drop down uh, for brush presets, I used soften skin this time instead of soften skin light. Typically, I don't like this one as much. It's a little bit too much for me, but hopefully you could better see what it does in the video. 
Uh, so tip number three is to lessen the darkness or rings or bags under the eyes. And the key word is lessen. You don't want to try to eliminate these bags under the eyes because you won't. You just won't. It won't look natural. Let's put it that way. We're going to again get the spot removal tool. Again, we're going to want to use the heel brush. And what I found is uh, feathering somewhere in the 50s and opacity somewhere in the 50s usually works best to start. All right, now it's showing all our other spot removals that we did, but that's all right. So we're gonna come in and if you wanna hide those, by the way, you could just hit the H key on your keyboard and you could hide those, but I don't mind them being there. And what you wanna do is just take that and start with one eye and do a brush stroke and just cover all that dark area. Now again, with the spot removal tool, it's gonna sample that area, it's sampled over here. Typically, you want to sample right under it on the cheek, and that usually will look best. Now, if it looks a little bit too heavy-handed here, we'll do it before, after. There's before, and there's after. If it looks like it's too much, move opacity. If it looks like it's not enough, move opacity. So you could just move opacity around to try to make it look more natural. And then just do it again to the other eye. This eye has a little bit more going on here. And again, it's going to sample an area I always pull it and put it on the cheek underneath. And this one here, again, if it doesn't look natural, pull opacity back, I think, on that one a little. You can see how opacity affects it. Just going to soften those like that. We just don't want to, don't really try to eliminate them because it really won't look natural. There's before and there's after. Let's try a little bit more, maybe too much. But you get the idea. So that was tip number three. Soften the bags under a person eye, person's eyes. Number four, enhance the iris. Again, we're going to use a brush tool for that. And again, we're going to use a preset brush. Go to this drop down and you'll see that there is a preset, Iris Enhance. And we'll click on that. Then for this one, we're going to turn Auto Mask off. We're going to, going to have Feather like I found in the 60s to 80s range in there somewhere usually works real well. Flow and density at 100. Of course, we don't want a brush that big. We want a brush much smaller. And you want to make sure that you're just painting on the iris of the person's eyes. So we'll come in here and just go on her eyes, like so. So I stay away from the black part in the middle and the white part on the outside. So we're enhancing the eyes. Typically, I will play off this a little bit like I might increase saturation a little bit or might come in and go to exposure and increase exposure a touch as well I'm kind of overdoing it again just so you could see in the video but that's tip number four and the fifth and final tip is to whiten teeth now of course she's not showing her teeth in this photo so we're gonna go to a different photo and in this other photo you can see she's showing her teeth. And again, we're going to use a brush tool. And again, we're going to use a brush preset. Go here and you can see that there is a brush preset for teeth whitening. So you just click on that. Again, um, feathering a little less on this one, maybe around 50. And flow and density at 100. And just get a brush and just paint on each tooth. And this might sound like it's harder than it actually is, but it's actually very easy. Um, just adjust your brush size using the bracket keys on your keyboard or the center wheel on your mouse uh, to fit the teeth. And it really isn't that difficult to do. I, just stay away from the gums, stay away from uh, the lips, and just brighten the teeth. Just like that. So there is before. Oops, here's before, sorry. There's before. And there's after. There's before. And there's after. And if it's like too bright, just come in and look what the preset moved. It moved the exposure slider and it moved the saturation slider down. So if it's just too bright, like usually it's exposure, you're just going to want to pull exposure down a little bit so it looks a little more natural. And that's it. Those are the five tips that I recommend you do in order whenever you process a portrait in Lightroom. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.